Hey guys, it's Jace from Jacelyn Art, and today I'm going to show you how to create these trendy text designs in Procreate. Let's get started. I'm going to create a square canvas. I'm going to make this 5000 by 5000 pixels and 300 dpi. I'm going to tap done and now I want to insert some text. So I'm going to add text and I'm going to change the font. The font that I'm using is called Keep On Truckin. It's a font I bought off of Etsy because I wanted the commercial license for it. It's also available for free, I think, it's with a personal license, so you can't use it commercially unless you pay for it. I'll put the links to all of it below. It'll also be in the blog if you want to go look on my website. I'm just going to change my quote. I'm doing this in all caps, and I'm going to use the quote, Happy Girl Summer. If you're on TikTok and you follow Anna, you might recognize this and I just thought it was the perfect summer quote. So I'm going to make my text a little bit bigger and I'm going to center it in the middle of my canvas but I want to add a little bit of detail so I'm going to go and use my retro doodle stamps. I'm going to choose one of the flowers. This brush set has 50 stamps that are designed to work with cutting machines so I'm just going to create a new layer and add little flowers on each side of my text. I'm going to merge the layer with the flowers on with my text layer so that I have just one layer and now I want to add a little bit of a wave to my text so I'm going to use the liquify tool I'm going to turn the size up and the pressure up and leave distortion and momentum down and then I'm gently going to take my apple pencil and drag up and down to create this wavy text effect. To save the changes I'm going to tap out of the adjustments menu and I'm just going to center it because I've moved the text a little bit. Now I actually want to create an SVG from this file so first I'm going to remove the background layer and I'm just going to change this to white so you can see it a little bit better. I'm just going to alpha lock the layer, fill the layer with white and I'm going to export this by going to my actions menu, share and I'm going to export it as a PNG and I'm going to save this to my files. I find that when I save PNGs to my camera roll sometimes the background is still there so if I want to convert it or save it as a PNG I usually save it to my files. I'm just going to name it so I can find it. To convert it to an SVG I'm going to use the website convertio.co. I'm going to link this in the description. I'm going to choose my file and you can see you can choose any file format that you want. Uh, obviously I'm going to choose an SVG. Once it's finished converting you can download the file and use it with a cutting machine or whatever you want to use your SVG for. Next up I'm actually going to be using Canva. I'm going to create a 5000 by 5000 pixel design once again and the reason I'm using Canva instead of Procreate is because of the fonts. Canva has an incredible collection of free fonts that work really well for these types of text designs. I love using the fonts that are under the retro category like Nectarine or Margin. I think there's Bright Retro as well. There are just so many that work really well, especially for final and SVG kind of designs. The font I'm using today is called Cranberry, so I'm just going to find that quickly and I'm going to select it and then I'm going to change my text to say Go Little Rockstar, which was a TikTok trend a couple of months ago. You may remember it if you're on there. And while I talk about TikTok, make sure you go follow me on TikTok because I post there very often <laughs> and lots of different Procreate tutorials. So I'm just going to resize my text and make sure it is centered. And now I'm just going to export it as a PNG. I am going to tick the transparent background box. Unfortunately, you need Canva Pro for this. So if you don't have Canva Pro, I have a link for 30 day free trial. If you'd like to use that, it is in the description. And I'm going to export it and download it. And I'm going to actually export it straight into Procreate. So once it's finished processing your design, you can choose and select to export it and send it straight to Procreate. For this design, I'm thinking I want to add an illustration element, but where the element overlaps with the text I want it to be inverted. I'll show you what I mean. First I'm going to choose a lightning bolt doodle from my retro doodles brush set. Again it's linked down below and I'm just going to put that over the text on a new layer and I'm going to rotate it into place until I'm happy with it. So I want where the lightning bolt is over the text, I want that text to be white. So to do that I'm going to use two fingers to tap on the text layer and you'll see it goes blue and that means it is selected. I'm also on automatic mode but I don't think that matters as long as the text is selected. 
and I'm going to make sure I'm on the lightning bolt layer and that that layer is highlighted even though the text is what is selected. I'm going to swipe down with three fingers and I'm going to say cut and paste. That is going to put down the text that was selected onto a new layer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap that top layer and I'm just going to tap invert and that is going to make the top text white so that it shows through the lightning bolt object. It may seem like that's all we need to do, but if we wanted to remove the background or change the background color, for example to a bright pink, you'll see that the part where it overlaps is still white and we want to remove that. To do that, I'm going to open my layers tab again and I'm going to select the top white layer by tapping with two fingers on that layer. That selects it and I'm going to go and highlight the text layer, swipe with three fingers and I'm going to say cut to remove that selection. Now if I hide the top layer it still looks exactly the same but if we change the background this time you'll see that it's no longer white. Now I'm going to do the same thing as before, remove the background and export it, save it as a PNG and export it to my files. For my final design I'm actually going to import some text that I've already created in Canva. So I'm going to import the PNG, I'm going to just center it and I'm going to create a sticker design. So I'm again going to use my retro doodles and choose the melting face stamp. I really like this one. Uh, let me just decrease the size there and I'm going to put this stamp on a new layer and have it sort of interacting with the text and have it on the side. I'm going to turn off snapping just to position it exactly where I want it to be and decrease the size a little bit. I also want the stamp to seem as if it's part of the text so I'm going to remove that little line that overlaps with the text by using the eraser tool and then I'm going to merge the two layers together and I'm just going to use my color tool and a retro themed color palette to fill in the design. Now for this design I want to create a white background outline. This is quite a requested tutorial, it's like a sticker outline tutorial. So I'm going to turn off the background and I'm going to duplicate the layer of my design. I'm going to swipe right with two fingers to alpha lock that layer. I'm going to change my brush color to white and I'm going to tap and say fill layer. You can see this turns the bottom layer completely white and then I'm going to swipe right again with two fingers to un -alpha lock it. I'm going to choose Gaussian Blur and I'm going to just drag my pencil to the right until the white background covers the letters. On that layer I'm going to choose the select tool, make sure automatic is selected and I'm going to just slide my pencil until there's a little bit of a gap between the blue and the design. I'm going to say invert so that the actual white is selected and tap fill layer to create that white outline. This technique works really well to create this outline but if you zoom in you'll see that it can be a little bit bumpy and this won't work well for a cutting machine. So as an optional extra what I like to do is choose a monoline brush and I will over, oh that's way too big, and just trace around the outline to make it a little bit smoother. There you have your sticker design. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed all three of the different tutorials. Yeah, you can see me cutting out some stickers. I made some vinyl pieces with the designs that we created today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, comment and subscribe. It really, really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next video. 